Hello my friends, welcome again. In this video we are going to work with an uh, eloquent relationship and a uh, one-to-one -one relationship. So if you go to the Laravel documentation inside the eloquent, you have the relationship here and you have some examples you want to, if you want to learn more. Uh, for this I have created a new fresh Laravel application. We don't have anything here, just the fresh and we call it and I call it block. If I open here, block test, yeah, that's it. So to make a one-to-one -one relationship, I'm going to create a new model and migration for that. And I'm so PHP artisan make a model. I'm going to call it a phone and create a migration for that and if I go here and open the phone migration to create new we need just the number for example and to make a relationship we We put here the sign a big integer that you, that the uh, model you are going to have a relationship and we are going to have a relationship with the user. So the user have, has one a phone and the phone belongs to the user. So to do so we need to user and the ID of the user and this is matter if you don't if you don't want to override the default of the Laravel user ID and maybe index to this and uh, For in ID. So if I go here to the, if you go to the Laravel documentation and inside the database migrations, here you have the. For in K, if you want to learn more, so the user ID and the table for user ID and reference ID on the user. And I think it's better if you want to learn more from Laravel, go to the Laravel documentation. And you have many very good uh, documentation from the team here. So okay, now we need to migrate this PHP artisan migrate. Okay, uh, if I go to the table plus refresh, sorry, migrate fresh, and we have the users and the phone okay now to make a relationship we need to put the inside the app models inside the phone function user and this is user singular because this uh, phone belongs to the user and we go into our return uh, this belongs to uh, sorry user class and if 
we go here so the phones we we put here the user id and for that this uh, phone belongs to the user id in an inside the user we don't have the phone id so inside the phone the user model so we make a, a function here or method and call it a phone singular and return this has one phone class so the user who has no uh, column for the phone has the has one phone and the phone who has the user id belongs to the to the user okay uh, th this is good to remind for other works so if i go to the inside the resources views welcome page here or not here i'm just going to set the web and not returning the bust uh, if i go to the uh, database my factories user factory yeah we have this one save this one PHP this one migrate seed and if I go to the table refresh we have 10 fake users oh sorry I just okay we don't have any phone now if i go here and user is user and find with id of one and now we need to create a new phone so phone create and the number is going to be sorry we need an array here mm. number is If I save now and go to the here refresh, uh, it's not file. Yeah, we need to. We have a mass assignment error here. If I go to the phone model, we need to up this a little bit. save and refresh here okay if i go now the refresh yeah we have a, a phone with id of one and the number the user id is two and now if i go here and uh, change so we create a new phone for this user if i go and change the user to the id of two and save 
refresh again here go here refresh yeah we have another phone so we are inside the phone we are another phone and the number is the number is the same we have the user id of two okay so how we can uh, grab the phone now we have the user okay I'm going to return the phone of the user. User phone and number. If I save, go and refresh, yeah, we get the number of the phone of the user's phone. If we want now the the inverse we find the phone and give it give us the user so if i go and make a change here so the last sign phone and find a phone with id of one and give us the user if i leave it here we have a object of the user so if i go here and refresh yeah we have the id of the user we add the one the object with id of one name is lucas low if i go and give us the name of the user okay we get the name so we have the phone and from the phone we get the user and in, before we get the user and from the user we get the phone okay well, that is how we how the one-to-one -one in Lara value work in the next video we are going to work with a one-to-many for this video this is it and if you like please subscribe to my channel thank you very much